Coffee, good. Light, good. Camera, good. Hair, terrible. But I'm running out of time, so bad hair it is. So we are officially less than a week away from kicking off a brand new season in the NHL, which means a brand new season of NHL Now. I am so excited to get this show back on the air. I had so much fun last season. There was a lot of firsts for me. So I figured why not take a look back at last year and put together my top 10 moments from the show. Kicking off this countdown, I learned three things. One the cameras are always rolling and that footage will be used against you. Number two, bragging about being right is not a very becoming look. And number three, we had a pretty serious addiction to Ric Flair last year. Not sure why. Coming in at number 10, NHL now, idiocy. I don't think I'm gonna get this in the first take, but we can try. What are you laughing at? Right. I can't unsee it, so thank you very much, EJ. I appreciate that. I can't undo it! You gotta get into the right frame of mind. Woo! 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 Oh. Yeah! Woo! Woo! It was a problem. Do you like no. them apples or what? I told them I wouldn't leave till I got a chance to work with you, so I'm yes. here working with you also. High five. Love anytime, it. Anytime, anytime. Let's go. Go Leafs, go. Oh, Toronto's gonna rock and roll. Go Leafs, go. Do you guys remember that song? Don't right embarrass me on television. Yeah. What do you think you okay, are? He's, he's, he's from... I will he, cut you off this show from, right now. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are powerful. I know. Are you for real? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Jackie mentioned that, that uh, she had to play goalie uh, one time oh, and that it didn't go so that. well. Look at the side eye when you get scored on, though. I know. I give some good cut eyes. That Man. does stick. for it. Uh, don't, oh, don't make me mad. I get angry. You guys, you know, it's a wonderful thing to wake up a winner. Call me crazy. All right. But I'm all oh. Shock value. You guys all I just like, reacted right, exactly right. how I was hoping that you yes. would. I have right. We'll see right. how that pick pans out. Oh, we saw how we it saw. panned out. Five picks in a row. Not that I'm like bragging or counting or anything. Right. I'm a nice pocket. No, you guys make you guys fun. I'm out. Oh, I caught that. I caught that. One, two, three. Oh. Safe to say it was a pretty ridiculous year. But coming in at number nine, we have to talk about one of my favorite segments from NHL now. The Redmond's Red Hot Pick. I started out on the hottest streak of all streaks. I was on an absolute roll. And then one day I came into work and the producer said, you're gonna pick all the games today because we don't have a player analyst. And he completely ruined my mojo, which resulted in the temper tantrum that you're going to see right here at number nine. Jackie, five and seven. I mean, all I've been hearing about these good picks night after night. Five and seven? Are you done? I don't know if I'm done. You know what? You just what? chirp, chirp, what? chirp. I've been on a roll. I got a little Have something been. to say. There Let's hold go. the phone before we start throwing insults Where's my phone? at Miss Redmond. Don't even get me started on last night's BS. First of all, let me tell you something about momentum, okay? You don't mess with momentum. I had a 14 and five record in the Redmond's Red Hot Pick segment. 14 and five makes red hot sound like the understatement of the year. My picks, they weren't red hot. They were boiling. I was racking up dubs like Stamkos and Kucherov rack up points. You were. 11 of my last 12 were winners. Why would you mess with something that isn't broken? Good point. I don't know. Yeah. You know why? It wasn't my decision. Uh, I was forced by forced. the producer of this show because I guess he wanted to shake things up. You know who wouldn't do that? John Cooper. That's who. He's never be like, yeah, you know, Stamkos and Cooch, they're so good right now. Let's put them on separate lines and shake things Maybe up. Maybe you should have. They lost last See night. See what happens. But I'm new here. I couldn't argue. I had to accept my fate. But if there's one thing that matters around here at NHL Network, it's the voices of our viewers. So check out this tweet from last night because this is what the people had to say. Yeah. They don't count. Tell that dimwit producer oh, that's right. the one Jackie Redman red hot pick a night. That's what viewers want. Great job. We want the one top pick a night. You were on fire. What producer would change that? Sure. Give us your views on other games, but we want one. 
red hot pick. Yeah. And yeah. so, all I say, all I ask, is that last <laughs> night should not be reflected <laughs> in my red hot picks record. Oh. I rest my case. Oh boy, and you know, it's so nice to see. I love it when parents stand up for their children and to have your parents tweet that stuff oh. out. I, I think that is wonderful. I mean, really, to the, to the Redmonds, I think that is terrific. It's great parenting. Stand up for your kids. And they were right about one thing. Boy, dimwit producer. Boy. Oh, boy. Easy, EJ, easy. Boy. That's for sure. That's for oh, sure. Oh my goodness. So now that I've, I've said my piece, I've you said done? what I had to say, Are you done? I am done. Okay. I will not Force. reference it again. So, <laughs> let's get <laughs> Hashtag no regrets. I was upset. But we're not done talking about the Redmond's Red Hot pick just yet, because coming in at number eight, after our dimwit producer ruined my mojo, I went ice cold. It was so bad that I came into work one day and I was told my privilege, my right to make my Redmond's Red Hot pick had been revoked. Dave, I mean, really, there are no words. I am on the coldest streak ever. I mean, even the Philadelphia Flyers broke out of their slump. I can't break out of mine. I don't, I just, I'm at, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. Well, Jackie, you were like, what, one in 10? Something like that. That's, that's not red hot. That's extremely cold. So everybody at the network has been looking, wondering what's going on. They've decided that you are not allowed to be involved in today's <laughs> red hot picks. Deserve. Replacing you, we're going to London, Ontario, to get your father, Steve-O, as he's known lovingly Red. known in the Redmond <laughs> house. Steve Redmond, please, can you help us out? Help your daughter, Jackie, with a winning pick. Dad, I'm not allowed <laughs> to make the pick. It's up to you. You are benched. You are benched. After, <laughs> start, after starting the season off hot, you're in a bit of a slump that, uh, that all NHL players go through. So, uh, yeah, I, I was taking a look today, and I uh, really like the New Jersey Devils. Okay. Yeah, the Devils are looking good. They got uh, Corey Snyder in that. He's fantastic. Uh, uh, Taylor Hall seems like he's having a really good year. And uh, they got that young kid, Nico, there. He's a pretty good centerman. So right. I, go with the, I go with the Devils over those nasty jackets tonight. <laughs> it's awesome. Great pick, Steve-O. Great You pick. like his pick? I like his pick. I think it's a great pick. All right, Dad. Thanks for the pick. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I need it. I will say, as embarrassing as it was to be replaced by my own father, obviously it was a special moment for us because he is the biggest reason that I am so passionate about sports. Cheers to my best friend, my dad. All right, moving right along. Coming in at number seven was my first real road trip with the NHL Network crew to Tampa, Florida for the All-Star Game. I showed up with a dress that was too big and left my shoes in the hotel room, therefore I had to wear running shoes. It wasn't a good look, but it was a good icebreaker. The real deal, James Neal, if your footwear is something to behold, tell us about the shoes, sir. Just some nice wolves there. You know, I just like, <laughs> I like doing, I like doing something fun. All right, Eric, I might have to award you the best dress. Take me through the outfit. Very Euro look going on. Well, I am European, and I got to stay with my roots. What is this hat? Like, what is the name of this particular type of chapeau? 100% beaver, so one of my favorite ones. Do you get nervous for skills? It's funny, though. You don't get nervous in games or anything like that, but, you know, one tiny little skill, and you're like, oh, maybe I can't do this. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's because you're expected to be so good at it. When we were eight, nine years old, uh, we used to love rapping. Oh, I forget the song. The, that Beamer song, Who's Got the Keys to My Bima. <laughs> that was PK's favorite song when we were nine, ten years old. He used to request that we play that in the room, and he'd be rapping before every game. The times haven't changed. He still loves He loves getting on stage. And Awful. 1650. No way. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we're fast and, and we keep going, so. I think your buddy uh, wants an autograph, so I'll let you go catch up with uh, the flower as a style icon. Do you think I made a huge mistake with my footwear today? I went for comfort. You always look great. You and Kelly Nash on the network always look oh, amazing. Well, PK, we appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, next up, for anybody who has ever moved to a new city, a new country, or even just started a brand new job, you'll understand this. It takes a little bit to kind of settle down and feel like you're part of the crew. The moment I officially knew that NHL Network was going to embrace all of my uniqueness, silliness, I don't know, whatever. 
was when they said, we want to do a segment where you smell chips. Yeah, not a chip taste segment, a potato chip smell test challenge. And let me tell you something, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> I have an accomplice. I'm kind of nervous. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I don't know what these are, but they smell really good. Where's the bag? <laughs> Have you ever had those? They're really good. That's a distinct smell. I, I don't like it. They smell stale. Oh my god, these smell so good. It smells like a kettle chip. Okay, let's do this. Those have to be plain. <gasps> like, they have to be. <laughs> Hang on, wait, I got something here. <laughs> are those ketchup? What? Barbecue. I, I'm gonna say my first whiff doesn't count because I obviously didn't smell anything. That's why I thought they were plain. I honestly don't know what that is. Doritos? Oh! Yes. I'm finding through this process, you have to take a few whiffs. The more I sniff, I can't smell anything. So those have to be plain. Are they plain? What? If this is not me, I'm actually good. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. Oh, these smell like plain too. <laughs> They're like, they smell like plain again. These have to be like some sort of like hot. Are those ketchup chips? <laughs> ketchup? No. I think you can't get those here, can you? I don't know what like, oh, I was honestly just gonna say all dressed. <laughs> honestly, chips don't smell like anything. Is that, <laughs> I don't know. It smells like a corn chip of some kind. Is that at least, am I on to something? Yo, Fritos, Fritos are corn chips, right? Sweet. It smells like meat. <laughs> They're gluten free too, get them out of here. Is that Cool Ranch? I don't know, like hickory smoked steak. Like, I don't know, what is it? Never had those before. Is this like sour cream and bacon or something? Sour cream and chives? Is it like a meat? Sour cream and cheddar. Is this another kettle chip? It smells like a kettle chip. Black pepper. Oh, I missed my mouth. Jalapeno? All right, for anybody that's watching this that either hasn't seen my show or maybe lives in Canada and knows me from my days there, NHL Now has a lot of guests. I'm talking players, coaches, actors, musicians. I mean, we had it all on NHL Now last season. But if there was one guest or, or pair of guests that were most memorable, it was definitely, hands down, without a doubt, the On The Bench crew. Oh boy, we have featured their Epis on this show many times. The On The Bench crew is here. Well, we obviously don't get hurt because we're natural athletes, so we're in top shape. Uh, nothing can really hurt us, isn't it right, Jacob? That's right. We're, pr we're probably the toughest guys that would be in that league if we played. Like, if we worked with every player, the league would be so deadly. Sellies obviously are super important. Uh, for the number one reason is because Scouties don't care if you score, and you they're not going to notice that, right? No, they need the to Scouties see the Scouties yeah. want to see the Selly. They want to see the showboat. That's what's going to get them noticed. Hopefully we can see some of those get broke out. And uh... That's highly yeah. unfortunate. That's unfortunate, yeah. Dropped all of them. There's a... Uh... You might have broke the five second rule there with that chip. I'm just saying. He's, he, uh, he's eaten worse off of <laughs> nastier floors. He's... The floor looks pretty clean. How about Jackie dinner? <laughs> there you go. Hey, of course. There we go. Whatever, what, what I'm sure wear, it would be girls. entertaining. <laughs> There's some Montreal Canadian player right now shooting tennis balls. Shooting up tennis balls. Wise guy. Ah, there oh, we go. Oh, the okay. culprit. Um, well, Bob, I'm actually in top shape, so I don't really get hurt very often because I work out about six times a week, so I'm just a natural athlete. Yeah, you uh, you look like one. Um, <laughs> where are you guys? Oh, there's a good footy of Oli going up. <laughs> wow. You need to incorporate some more leg days, I think, and you'll be able to get up the... Aren't they supposed to be coming down that hill? How long is this course? Um, well, it starts at the top here, and it, then it ends at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> if we see you down in Tampa, you better not, like, big time us. Yeah. Uh, we won't big time you, Jackie. No, we won't big time you, Jackie. Okay. We promise. Jackie. All right, well, that's all that matters to me. Thanks, guys.
Thank, Thank you. you so much. For the record, we had the On the Bench crew on our show long before they were even cool. We were one of the first networks to bring them onto our show and give them real exposure. They kind of owe us. Okay, coming in at number four on my list of my favorite NHL moments was the blindfolded shooting accuracy challenge. Me versus Mike Johnson, eyes closed, trying to hit targets. And honestly, this went way better than I could have ever planned for. All right, well, obviously we are on the demo rink for a reason. Yes. We've got sticks, mine is a little uh, too Yours big like, for me. You know what you're like? You're like Marty St. Louis right now. <laughs> a little shorter in stature with an incredibly long stick. And very the, passionate and competitive. Yes, that, so, I've learned that firsthand already. Yes, we don't have any blindfolds, not gonna lie to you guys. So we're gonna do the honor system. There will be cameras on yes, you, Johnny. Uh, so me. No, no you funny worry about business. Yourself there, uh, Johnny's Jackie. gonna go first because he is the former pro. Okay, so eyes closed. All right, first one. Oh please. That, that's that's one for one. Brock Besser, I'm coming for you. Your oh eyes my better God. be closed. Well, you saw me trying this before. I didn't hit any. Eyes he open. Okay, two for two. Money <laughs> player, Jackie. Money player. Okay, eyes closed. Bottom right. Uh, even if I was, it'd be great, and I'm not, okay? Bottom left. Oh my god, this is good. I hope we're getting this on camera, right? Eyes closed. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was way off. All, All right. right. I'll take it. Jackie, you get your five. Make no mistake, Jackie can shoot the puck. This is just, uh, this is legit competition. Okay. I got faith in Jackie. I hope you beat me now, because I'm going to be embarrassed. All right, eyes closed. Hang on. Hair out of the way. Eyes closed. Come on now. I need to get away. Where are you shooting? Don't worry about it. Okay. Eyes closed. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Unbelievable! Okay. All right. Okay. That was amazing. Let's go the other side. She's feeling it now. Okay. okay. Eyes closed. Look at the target. Close your eyes. Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> this is crazy. Two out of two. Okay, bottom. All right. Eyes closed. What do we got? Okay, okay, okay. You're right there. Can't beat me now, so all right. All right, hope you get the last one at a time. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> through the top one again. Okay, one more. This one comes from NJ Devil, the mascot of the New Jersey Devils, wants to see an accuracy contest with t-shirt throwing so Jackie can get some practice in before coming to a game and doing t-shirt talk. We have three t-shirts here. Similar to how you're gonna have to throw them when you go to the Devils game. So okay. you're ready. I'll slide over here to not get in your blind side. Okay. Come on. I'm nervous. Let's go. <laughs> I hope I Devil never. Knows. I legitimately hope I never ever get invited to throw at a first pitch. You got it. Yes. yes. <laughs> She's money. Okay. This one. Okay. She's okay. money. <laughs> okay. That's right. Settle yourself. Wines. <laughs> kicks. Here's the delivery. Oh, that's, oh that's all right. That came unraveled. That's a bad ball. of my fault. I'll take full responsibility. I'm not going to lift the leg because the dress is tight. That might be an issue. A slide <laughs> step. We need a slide step, Tony. Yeah, have a good stretch. Yeah! <laughs> there it Woo! is. Jackie wow. Redman. Okay, we've officially entered top three territory. And rounding out my top three is actually something that meant a lot to me. This year, we decided on NHL Now to do an all-female edition of the show. So, myself and Jamie Hirsch were the hosts. We had the Lamaroo sisters who won gold with Team USA last year as our co-hosts for half the show. And then every guest, every reporter, every analyst on the show was female. It was a big deal for me. I know it was a big deal for a lot of my female colleagues and friends. It was amazing to acknowledge and promote how many amazing women are working in the NHL and covering the NHL. Because when I was a kid, I mean, I wanted to be Ron McLean on Hockey Night in Canada. At that time, there weren't a lot of women for me to look up to. Not only look up to and try to emulate, but I didn't have a lot of examples that it was even possible. And I think it's really incredible that now we have a ton of incredible, talented women working in hockey. So, 
Coming in at number three was the all-female edition of NHL Now. And welcome to a very, very special edition of NHL Now. We are doing an all-female edition of the show, which brings me to my co-host on the flies, Jamie Hirsch, in the house. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Fresh off winning the gold medal in South Korea. We are so excited to have the Lamoureux sisters here in the building. Watching my dad, obviously, growing up in the locker room around him and his teammates inspired me to want to be a part of this game for the rest of my life. I love the game of hockey. I played all growing up until the end of high school. My sisters, my brothers all played, so. I love the girl power. This is so cool. I think this is such a wonderful idea. <laughs> I started I started off interning, but I grew up here in Denver, so it was so cool that it was able to come full circle and return and cover my hometown team, specifically the Avs. Who, I remember when they came here, I was about 10 or 11, and we were fully on board. We went to all the Stanley Cup parades and had season tickets, and it really started with you know, interning for the teams and for the networks and just knocking down the doors. I mean, the regional uh, network here, they didn't even offer internships. So I called five times until I think the executive producer just got tired of me calling and said, come on in. <laughs> the big thing too is that as women in sports, there's plenty of room for all of us. So we can keep helping each other and helping to share our love and passion for the sports that we cover. Hockey's done a great job of that. The league has done a fantastic job as well. Every morning we get up and we have to figure out what day of the week it is. <laughs> um, it's just been, it's been hard to take it all in just because we've been so busy and the, but the amount of support we've gotten, I think it, I don't think it's totally sunk in what we've accomplished. I, I literally chucked my stick to the back of the bench when I got, got to the You bench. just knew. I just knew it was gonna get done and, and, it, and it did. And, and then I blacked out again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say you both are now idols for young girls everywhere yeah. that maybe, even if it's not hockey, just want to play sport. Cassie Campbell, Pascal, and Catherine Tappen joining us now. I think this is a great initiative you guys are doing, and I think it's it's awesome that you're, you're highlighting a lot of the women in the industry, but it's worked out well for me, but it was not <laughs> the initial path, believe it or not. Catherine and I are kind of the opposite. I know hockey, but I had no idea how to broadcast, so I had to learn <laughs> how to do that. And I remember a producer telling me after the fact, you know, when we found out you were coming, we thought, oh, great, we're going to have to do all her work. She doesn't know anything about the game. And, oh and then I would, they would show up to work, and there I was working hard. And, you know, I think I, I changed their mind about, you know, how much I knew about the game. And I've, I've never, ever gone into a broadcast where I'm not prepared. I was actually working for a TV station at the NHL draft in Montreal, and uh, Phyllis Bull still come up to me, and he, he told me that he saw a video of me and in, invite me to his training camp. You know what? The Lamaroo sister said it was okay. Yes. I, if my, I mean, my we Canadian fan base might be a little upset with me. <laughs> it's okay. And You're celebrating a gold medal. I mean, I don't know if I'm celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> in the two spot. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that a career in sports or hockey would lead me to eventually rapping in front of a professional artist, a straight up rap battle in front of a huge crowd being judged by Lil Jon. But it happened, and it's number two on my list. We wrote our own farce, okay? okay. If you like it, you're- You said bars, you, you're gonna win. I already know you're gonna win, because you said Just bars. wait, just you wait. I got bars, just I wait. got bars, okay, Lil Jon? Here we go. Hi, my name is Jackie, I'm the host of the show. I know what you're thinking. Who the heck is this, bro? His name is Adam, and he used to be fire, but then he fizzled out and he had to retire. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play with Patrick Kane, but you weren't as good. That's why you always drop his name. Oh. It is pretty cool that you played in the show, but when you try to rap, I'm like, God, please, no. Oh. Hey, listen, look, I'm not trying to be mean. You just need to know you're in the presence of a queen. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I call myself a boss. You might have a cup, but I think you just lost. Oh. I think she kicked her ass, bro. I think she got me. Seriously, the second that I saw Adam Burrish was going to read his rap off of an iPad, I knew I had it in the bag. Okay, we are finally at number one on my top 10 list of NHL moments from last year. And this one was super easy to pick. Going on the road and covering the Stanley Cup final. Every single game, every single practice, every single off day, I mean, I was doing everything. But it really represented me achieving a lifelong career goal. It's something I've always dreamt of doing and 
I finally got to do it. I was so excited to potentially watch the grade eight win his first cup. So when he did, I was like, oh my gosh, my first Stanley Cup final. And here I am like a few feet away from Alex Ovechkin as he lifts the cup. Great eight, one of the best goal scorers of all time, as he lifts his first ever Stanley Cup. It was very symbolic for me that my first cup final also saw Alex Ovechkin win his first Stanley Cup because essentially the theme of the entire last year for me, it was a year full of firsts all season long, which made the year challenging, but also very rewarding. So I just want to say to any of you that watched NHL Now last season and showed your support, thank you. We cannot wait to get started again. We are less than a week away from kicking off a new season. The Caps are going to try to repeat. The Penguins are going to try to go for three and four. The Vegas Golden Knights are somehow going to try to follow up their first season with an even better second one. I can't wait to see what the Sharks do with Eric Carlson. The Jets are amazing, the Leafs are amazing, the Predators are still sick. There are so many intriguing storylines. I cannot wait to get started. And for those of you that live in the US, October 3rd, four o'clock Eastern time on NHL Network, we kick off a new season, a brand spanking new season of NHL Now. We'll see you there.